on Custom Works, we're going to be looking at the rear of the truck with no name and sorting out that super smooth bumper and that sort of air dam and uh, twin exhaust sort of affair we've got going on in the back. And we're going to be looking at the front. Okay, so on all of these trucks, they've got that sort of nostril thing going on and what we're going to try and make is a sort of an air dam effect sort of thing. Something that makes it look like it's, it's drawing air in and something a bit more sporty than on the traditional truck. So, here we go, let's get to the workshop. And I see that I am already in the workshop, but anyway, let's get to it. This is what we've got then. So this, instead of having the roll pan, I thought we'd do something a bit different on this truck, so we're going for that bit more modern look. We've got the um, two twin exhausts either side. Um, we've, it's got a little bit of roll pan under there. Then it's got this panel with this lip. This is all going to be glass and this will all be blended in. So this has got a few curves to it. The whole thing is curved across the back as well. You can see here it's got this nice gentle curve to it. Same sort of curve that a bumper would have. Of course we don't want a bumper. We want this uh, sort of smooth look to the back. Once it's got its lights, uh, the lights are going to be about just here. We'll drill them in just there. I think this back's going to be really, um, really unique and cool looking. Um, like I say, all of this at the minute is just foam and dye bond and super glue. And what we'll be doing, we're going to add a load of foam in to backfill this. And then tomorrow we'll fiberglass over it. Expanding foam has got this property that you might not have guessed, but it actually expands. So always fill things a little bit too low and it'll expand nicely inside and uh, yeah, make it super strong. Okay then, so um, I did a load of stuff last night on the, uh, the back of this pickup. And um, to be honest, I came in this morning and thought, this looks a bit rubbish, so I've redone it. What I'm doing is now is I'm going to make a um, I'm going to make a bumper that sticks out, <clears throat> so it doesn't look so flat on the back, and then I'm going to put a very slight curve on that bumper. So let's have a look at what I've done already. I've made this uh, this timber former, and then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to clad the timber former in dye bond <clears throat> and then once I've cleared it in dye bond what I'm going to do is so I'm going to put one sheet of dye bond on first and then I'm going to put a slightly narrower sheet of dye bond and a narrow sheet strip I should be saying and a slightly narrower strip of dye bond then a narrow strip of dye bond and a narrower narrow narrow until it sort of stacks up and that will give it a nice curve and that curve will sweep around the back of the truck forming a bumper fiberglass over it fill it jobs are good in it's going to be that easy here we go. So then, here we go. We've got super thin, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and we're gonna stack those up. It'll make a nice curve across the back, and that's gonna make us an awesome bumper. We have stacked up a hell of a lot of dye bond there. You can see it's got a nice curve to it. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to cover the top 
and then I'm gonna grind all this into a nice shape. And yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty mean. That's looking pretty mean for the back of an old farm truck. looking pretty good now. Um, this piece of chrome trim I've stuck on, I'm going to glass over that, um, it just gives a nice sort of peak to the bumper. Um, there's a little bit more work to do here, a little bit of sanding, and obviously over here, this is pretty rough. But once I've done this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fiberglass over this whole thing. Double fiberglass in from here, all the way down, onto here, this little lip that sort of frames the exhaust and just here which is it's not very strong so I'll really build it up in there and on the other side and then um, then this can just be filled with the rest of the car first off though I'm going to do I'm going to drop this exhaust off because already I've got um, I've got Bondo all over these nice chrome exhaust tips so I'll take those off and then cover it in some very neat and tidy fiberglass in and then some fella, and then we're ready for primer. Pretty much ready for fiberglass. Now, what I'm going to do with the fiberglass, and you might have seen me doing this before, and I might have said this before, but who knows? I'll say it again. I'll be cutting the fiberglass into strips before I mix the resin. I'll also be sticking all the fiberglass on where it needs to go with contact adhesive, so that everything is smooth, everything is neat, and everything is tidy. When that's all covered and looked good, only then will I get the resin out and put a coat of resin over all of that. And if you always do that with the contact adhesive, one, it stops, um, it stops the fiberglass mat slipping off of, uh, what's it, vertical or like upside down these sort of surfaces. And you know, once you've got the stuff mixed, it's going off and things can just get a really, you know, can get really messy this way. It's very accurate, very neat, very tidy, a lot less mess. And uh, you definitely get all the bits you want to do. So, let's get to it. So back lights. Um, on the other truck, on the WTF one, we have the lights here, but because we put this bumper on, we can't have those anymore. So uh, what I've done, I've got these like LED, I think they're meant for trucks or trailers, something like that. And I'm gonna mount them there, just below the bumper. And I'm gonna trim them with this. So I've cut this oval, so it makes them look more like an oval light, and less just like a a cheapo sort of truck light. So yeah, they go there. And this gives me indicator, brake light, and a rear reflector, which you've got to have. So um, yeah, I'll mount them in there. Hopefully, these are high enough up 
I've looked in, um, I've looked at all the regulations. I can't find a minimum, and there's a minimum height, but I can't find a minimum low. So hopefully they'll be okay. If not, I'm sure I'll come up with something uh, <clears throat> at MOT time. But yeah, so let's mount them at those in there, and uh, I'm sure they are going to look awesome. Oh, also as well, what I'll do with these, just so you can't see they're an LED, I'll slightly black the lens like I did before. So this will just have two discrete black ovals down there next to the exhaust. I think it's going to give the back of this truck a really clean, sort of cool look. So that took probably a little bit more messing around than I thought. That was really hard to do. Um, just to get the hole dead right, but you know, always persevere, it'll always look good. Uh, and now we've got this little trim, and that will fit around there. And uh, that, is a, that is not looking too bad. Uh, I'll screw this on with some nice sort of screws that make it look good. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do. This bumper that we're building on the back, I've got to admit, maybe I should have filmed more of this, but you'll sort of get the gist. Anyway, so we put the fiberglass on and uh, I put it on dry and then we've covered it in the resin and, uh, and then filled it. This has actually had a coat of resin over the top of the, um, of the filler and I've done that because I used a strip of this uh, like plastic trim there just to give a nice radius to that and some of it's a bit sort of woolly so I've just gone over it with some resin I'll flat that down once this is flatted and um, blocked off this will be ready for the uh, primer stage and um, what the primer will do it will you know bring enough primer on it that I can then flat that and this will be super straight but there it is um, really nice and solid and we've got the, um, the aperture for the twin exhaust underneath there that's all ready to go as well and I think it's um, it's given the back of the truck like a, a nice sort of smooth semi-modern look and the semi-modern look is what we're trying to get with this uh, with this truck and uh, yeah I think it's gonna look pretty cool and with the lights mounted low down as well you know gives a just a it's just truck so, on the front of this truck, I'm going to do the nostrils thing again. I've got a mould for that, but you know, let's make things look a, you know, switch things up a bit. Because this has got more like a modern, sort of race inspired look to it, um, very subtly, of course. Um, I want to do a nostril on the front of this, but just a single one, a bit more like the uh, 1951 Ford F100 sort of thing. So, as always, it's some Fomex, it's probably going to involve fiberglass at some point. So, I'm thinking something like that, but then coming down both sides somehow. I don't know, maybe this is a bit too wide, but something like, you know, nice, cool thing, piece of mesh in the front, like it's sucking a load of air into a, I don't know, some like awesome engine inside. So, that's all I've done up to now. Um, so... Let's make some more bits.
This is looking pretty good. Uh, one side's a little bit wider than the other, we'll sort that out with a filler. Um, it's all made now, um, but as I always say, if you're watching this for the first time, you cannot just make some out of like um, dye bond and expect this will just blow off on the motorway. What we've got to do now, uh, I'm going to take the back of here, I'm going to put some filler over it, get it to its uh, nice shape, and then I'm going to fiberglass over it. Um, and once it's fiberglassed over, this will be rock solid. I've also I've got to make this bottom bar. This is going to open up with the bonnet, so that is um, literally that would just drop off at the minute. So I've got to make that a lot stronger. And also, while I'm doing it, I'm going to close this gap. If you look, there's a lot of dust and crap on there. But if you look, like this, this will not do. This is no good. You've got to have even if you've got like massive panel gaps, they've got to at least be parallel. So. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fiberglass around it, just like I did on the WTF1, if you want to see that in detail. Go back through the videos, WTF1, bonnet episode, probably that's the one, I don't know. Um, it'll be in there, and uh, I go into that in full detail. Why I'm filling this, it's like, why am I filling it before I fiberglass it? And the reason I'm filling it first is there's some pretty big gaps in this. I don't want the fiberglass to, uh, to fall through. And also, I want the fiberglass to be the shape when it's done. And by having the right shape to put the fiberglass over, it just sort of, it just sort of, it'll just go over it nicer. If you've got a dip, then the dip might dip down, and then the uh, you know the mat pops up into a lump as it dips down around it. If you've got the exact shape you actually do want, it's always a lot easier to fiberglass over it, so you can just get it really tight, tidy, and nice. Right, and so this uh, front, is it a scoop, nostril, mono nostril? I don't know, something like that. Um, it's on, uh, I've glassed it, and then I've gone over with um, quite a bit of filler. And this also has got, um, this has got a coat of resin over it. And the resin's there, just because um, there's just a few woolly bits, and I want to be able to just flat this down and get it, um, you know, nicely to shape. And the resin does help a bit with that sometimes. Um, it's glassed here, it's glassed on this bit, and as you can see as the bonnet opens, it's, um, this bit was very thin and wobbly, but I've actually glassed that to the bonnet, so it's all super strong now. So then, pretty soon, I'll be fitting this piece of mesh, that fits inside there, uh, it sits in like a rebate, I'll be fitting that in, and that's going to really finish that off. And, you know, just add something a little bit different to, uh, you know, this front end. What I might do once the mesh is in as well is make like a, a bullet and two spears either side sort of thing. Um, just to, you know, really set it apart. Make it look a bit more factory as well. Um, but yeah, front's coming on really good. In fact, this whole truck's coming on really good. I think it's going to be a, you know, really nice ride. It's got that sort of... It's got that traditional shape, but with a little bit of a modern twist, a few things smoothed out. Um, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. But so stay here just to see it all finished, all done, and we'll be taking this on a super cool test drive. Okay then, so that's it for this week. We've been working on this, the truck with no name. If you've got any names, name suggestions, put them in the uh, comments below. Also give us a big thumbs up. Press that bell icon and also don't forget to click subscribe. Until next time, thank you very much and good night.